Hey everybody, this is Valerie from Sea Cottage Soaps. I am going to attempt to pipe um, the uh, Parasoy Wax IGI 6006. Um, I've piped wax, the uh, soy wax before, but I haven't attempted this. And I've had people ask me if I have. So I'm going to be using just um, inexpensive um, sandwich bag and the 1M tip, hopefully. We'll see what happens. So this is gonna be loud, so you can just fast forward or probably just fast forward the um, video until I get it where I want it. Now see, this is, it's just leftover wax that I had from testing and such. You just keep scraping the sides I have no idea if this is going to work. Because the wax on the sides obviously is a lot cooler. I'm assuming that you have to work so fast with this that I'm not even sure you're going to be able to type. But we'll find out. Either way, I'm going to post the video and see what happens. See, that's where it's at right now. I don't want to do too much. A little bit more. I don't have my um, thermometer out here to see what the temperature is, so let's see if I can do this. I think it's still a bit. I don't know. I'm not sure if I should whip it a little bit more or what. I don't know. I'm going to try. To me, it seems a little bit loose, and I'm so used to soap. <laughs> I know one thing. Because this does have paraffin in it, you have to be quick. just a small amount of wax so let's see what happens here probably the bag wasn't well let's see if you can see this oh not so much some of it is cooler than others I think if you're a little bit more patient because I was I don't know where that came from I was a little concerned. There we go. Look at that. You see that? Now some of it is setting up. It doesn't hurt to whip it more. Yeah. It's not as forgiving as soy wax, container wax. 
but I think if you just, you know, you're determined to get it out of the nozzle, you can make some really cute little dollops with it. So I would say it would work. Um, but you need to, you know, be quick about it. And I would use a throwaway bag, not a good Wilton bag. With soy wax, you can you see what a mess. You see how it's getting all crumbly already, where it's really cold. See that? Of course, the sandwich bag isn't helping anything, but it gives you an idea of whether you can pipe this soy paraffin container wax and I would say yes I would say you can this is the very very first attempt and actually I'm kind of excited about it so um, I know it's a goopy mess but once you once it completely cools Um, it's going to make really pretty dollops on your pies and such. So if you like to pipe wax, um, I would say you can pipe this and not just soy wax. So, uh, it's, I'd say it's a go. It's up to you again, um, whipping it really well. Here is the container all right, that I, that I did it in and you know, it's all crumbly but um, I think if you have a good bag, you know, you whip it really well, so it's very, very consistent. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good for the first time. Okay, take care. Have a good night.